Frosty, who's that? <laughs> Robbie here too, man. <laughs> You're on fire. Lago battery, man. There's beauty here, man. You can travel an airplane with this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, we're showing off here the world's most compact uh, inverter, man. Inverter, inverter. So, what do you say? About a thousand watts? So one thing that happens when we go traveling is that every country is different. Plugs. Check this thing, man. Yeah, every country is different. Plugs. And uh, so, for us, when we're going, I hate carrying all those universal adapters with us. I also hate finding access to power when I'm just sitting in uh, hotels or in restaurants or, uh, or at the airport. Uh, so, this way, since we're carrying the LIGO batteries anyways for our e-bike. 36 volts, great for powering a bike, not so good for powering a laptop. Yeah. Uh, but because we've made these things series connectable, put three 36 volts in series, suddenly we have 108 volts. 108 <laughs> volts is just perfect for running all of our electronics. But it's DC, man. It's DC, How the hell does it work? Every single piece of modern electronics that plugs into an AC wall output works just fine off DC voltages. So it doesn't matter at all to convert this into AC. It's just an extra wasteful step because this will convert it back into DC again. So right now we plug this in here, kapow, 336 volt packs becomes 110 volts. <laughs> plug in my laptop. <laughs> see the uh, oh. power flowing in there. And no this gives me way. days of power from my battery. So I can run this thing anywhere I go. I'm not worried about finding a charging outlet. And I can do my work, answer emails wherever I happen to be on the planet. <laughs> For how long, man? How Where long? Six how many hours, hours of emails a day. Probably two <laughs> weeks worth on this set of LIGOs over here. So, uh, two weeks of <laughs> Man, this is the future, man. I can't believe it. This is the smallest inverter in the planet, man. Oh. <laughs> if you don't want to make this, the other thing that we've sometimes found ourselves doing is uh, it just so happens that the uh, the plugs used in most of these fit countries actually can stick into an Anderson like that. Yeah. So really, really oh. ghetto. We would just plug them in and then we'd hook up the most minus and the most positive through a uh, through oh, series like that. Don't touch it, a little dangerous, not, not safe for kids. Uh, this is our slightly safer answer for, uh, for solving that problem. Like, uh, you need to offer this on your website, man. I know it's a bit illegal a in kit. some ways. We'll sell it as a kit. But honestly, it's, it's pretty, like, made these, these battery packs so much more versatile when we're traveling than just moving our units. It is our portable power for running everything. Yeah, they're running the bikes, they're running the laptops, they're running everything, charging phones, everything, man. So how many LIGOs you can take an airplane? It's a bit like the laws are a bit like, oh, mm. Yeah, so, so it's not, it's clearly written to 20 is the maximum for one airline. We don't recommend taking more than four or five. Um, they, they, at our flight over into Taipei here, one of the guys at the checkout thought we were only allowed two batteries. So he was ready to confiscate two of the batteries. Oh. And, uh, and then we said, no, no, two is only for 100 to 160 watt hours. And it says really clearly it's 98 watt hours, less than 100. So he called his supervisor, the supervisor came over, flipped through a few papers and ah yeah, that's fine. That's the only time. We've done over 30 international flights with these LIGO batteries. At the minimum, I always bring at least three. The most I've carried with me is six. That was the only time someone sort of threatened to take some of them away, limiting us to just two. And uh, but yeah, but they've been, they've been really well trained. And you go through the airport now, they take the battery, they look, they see the watt hours, and then they go, oh, it's less than I mean, in Canada, they, they kind of trust, you know. Like, yeah, it helps, eh? So uh, yesterday he was showing me the battery, man, and it's just like uh, I'm putting we're in a cafe here. We can't do this. But there's one here that's a bit like um, it's like a this has been throwing this battery everywhere, right? And for how high you've been throwing this back here? We, we, we've tossed it off the roof of our building, which is a solid like four meters. Whoa! And, uh, and it's not like you know you'll get little chips out of it. Our main concern was making sure. So I don't know where's yeah. So here you'll see the chip. So if you oh, yeah. if, if you throw this back, it's really high. Like, you have to do it really hard. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll never the the actual. So you, here you can sort of see the little weave. It's got fiberglass reinforcement. Fiberglass, yes. And so it'll the cracks will never propagate to the important bit. You get a superficial crack on the surface, but you're never going to break the battery or damage the circuit in the BMS. Even from four meter drop. Whoa. Yeah, I was just, you know, putting my nail Such here water. and I was like, man, this thing is self-healing, man. How did you do this epoxy? And then that's when he threw the battery, man. And there's also here, uh, show how you stuck them together here. Oh, so, yeah, so uh, and he sent me that. So they're called LIGO battery. It's a little play on LIGO because we wanted batteries that were like bricks that can stack together. Um, and so we have dimples on the back side that align with the protrusions on the front side. So normally you just put them like this and the, uh, the dimples help the battery stay positioned so that it doesn't slide apart. But in a lot of cases, people don't want a square battery on a bike frame. It's not the most useful shape. So that's why we index the dimples so that they're at every cell spacing. So if you have a battery uh, bike where you want to mount the battery inside the frame geometry, this actually fits yeah, yeah. really nicely with the seat tube and the down tube angles, yeah. right? And uh, so you can play around with this a little bit. And we've, we've 
position these cells so that at the end of each LIGO battery is half a cell and half a cell, so that when you put them end to end, it's exactly as if there was a cell there, so that you could also have the buttons line up when you do uh, stagger joints this way. Uh, Even the wire length, you guys thought about everything, so the wire, you don't have to disconnect anything, it's beautiful. Right. So the wire will go from one side to the other side like this. And, uh, oh, and, and you can't okay. short sickle just I, I got a meeting with our ball bear. Oh, oh, it's Ben. Hey, say, say hi Hello. to Ben. Hello, yeah! <laughs> hey, Ben, that's Bruno. Yeah. Did you find his YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want as a favor? <laughs> short the packs, man. Show the functionality. Yeah. Hey, Robbie, yeah? Yeah, short the pack. Boop. It's okay. Oh. Back to charging. Not a single spark, man. This is an amazing VMS okay. here. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, just send me the details in an email or a text. We'll get that stem for you. Yeah, very informal we'll video. We have some Yeah, we're here. We're adjusting. That's right. What do you see here, man? Say, 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 say. Hello. <laughs> 